And welcome into the Orange and Blue Report presented by the UVA Health System. I'm Dave Kane, and to my right, two gentlemen who know the University of Virginia quite well by now. They are seniors, Quinn Blanding, free safety, all-time leading tackler here at UVA, and the quarterback, Kurt Banker, trying to become the single-season all-time leading passer at the University of Virginia. So, gentlemen, obviously, you guys have done quite a bit in your time here, some longer than others, but uh, nonetheless, you've made a big impact. And Quinn, let me start with you. Four years into this thing now, You've started every game you've played. What is it like to feel like you're going to your final game at Scott Stadium all these years later, having started all these games? Um, I don't think it quite hit me yet, um, but I just know it's not a better feeling to finish in at home and being with my crowd and being with my fans and just living in Scott Stadium one last time and going out with a bang. Do you have a favorite memory from all your time at Scott Stadium to this point? Uh, I think it would be Louisville my first year when the, when they stormed the field after we won it. I just remember some of those plays I made in that game were just were pretty amazing to me and I will always remember that. How special would it be for you to have one last memory at Scott Stadium, do something that a Virginia program hasn't done in 14 years, beat Virginia Tech? It will just be an amazing feeling. Um, I just can't wait for this weekend and, you know, going 1-0 each week and that's the bottom line and that's our mentality. and. That's where we're going to stick to it. This game will mark your 48th consecutive start as a Cavalier. If somebody had told you all those years later that you would not miss a single start in your four-year career at UVA, what would you have said? I'd have told them they were right, honestly. Um, I knew coming here, I wanted to impact the game and impact this school and, you know, change the culture around and look at me 48 games later. And that's just, this is what I prepared my life for. You didn't have a chance to start 48 games here at UVA, but you've been a bit of an Iron Man yourself in this time. This team knew that they needed you to be healthy this season. I know that hasn't always been an easy thing yeah. for you to try to do as a quarterback with not a whole lot of experience behind you. Mm -hmm. What has it meant for you to be able to get through this season standing, not always feeling great through the whole process, but still yeah. standing here in, in week 12? Yeah, I think it just says a lot about kind of the type of guys we have here. I think I fit in well with these guys and um, the strength staff has done a really good job of preparing me for this and I think the coaches have managed me well um, and just the guys have protected me and it's just been rolling. From a standpoint of this team in the here and now versus uh, week one, what do you feel like the biggest difference is from your perspective is, is you get ready to play Virginia Tech in this last game of the regular season at least? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is just um, real confidence. Um, we know that we can do it. We can do really well against any team that we play um, and I think that we believed it early on but I think we really just have that confidence now. I, I want to get to this topic of the rivalry mm. for both of you guys and what it means to you. You're new to this thing. You're not, you grew up in Florida and also yeah. some in Maryland so didn't necessarily grow up around this thing mm. but this is your second year in this process. Yeah. What does it mean to you to go against uh, the in-state rival Virginia yeah. Tech? I think this is the fifth time that I will have seen them too in a season. We played them three times when I was at East Carolina, so I know a little bit about them, but um, I think it means more here, um, and especially with the success that they've had playing against us here, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun on Friday to see what happens. Uh, let's talk a little bit about from your perspective, Quinn. Uh, th this is not something that's new to you. This is your fourth time playing them here at Virginia. You grew up in Virginia Beach area, so you know what this thing's all about. It, has it changed in the time you've been at Virginia, your outlook in terms of this game and, and, and what it means to you as a player? Um, not really. Um, I know Coach Mendenhall said his best. It's like the state championship. Um, you know, two in-state schools just going head-to-head -head and competing and competing at a very high level, and there's nothing best than this rivalry that you want to play in is just one of the ones in this state that that just means a lot. Kurt, you've only been here for the two years, but two weeks ago you became the first quarterback ever to pass for 20 touchdowns or more on successive seasons, in multiple seasons for that matter. Now you have an opportunity to pass Matt Schaub for the most career passing yards, or passing yards I should say, in one single season. What would that mean to you and, and what do you know about Matt Schaub and does, yeah. do numbers like that resonate with you much? Yeah, um, I know he was really, really good here, and he's been really good in the NFL for a number of years. Um, but honestly, I'd really like to have this win more than any record. Um, I think that'll mean more to this program and to this team and, and the fans and everything. And I think the record would be awesome, but um, I hope it comes with a win. Well, it certainly has been fun to watch both of these guys play football through the years at Scott Stadium. You'll have one more chance to see these guys play coming up on Friday night. It'll be an 8 o'clock game, the Who's and the Hokies in the Commonwealth Clash. We hope to see you at Scott Stadium.